Hey everybody, it's Michelle D'Angona here again. So today I want to talk about something that's really near and dear to my heart. It's basically how I've manifested everything that I have in my life. And that is finding balance. Balance, I think, is the art of learning how to let go, let the universe take over, not try to control everything, have a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and learn how to accept what balance truly is the key to happiness, the key to having it all. Now, when it came to my business, my business, you know, I had worked for companies. Um, I worked on my own set of rules, my own time schedule, all of that. So it was like having my own business, but it actually wasn't. I always knew I wanted to work for myself. I come from a family of entrepreneurs, so that's the direction that I wanted to go in. I realized what I needed to do was work my ass off. You know, I started pursuing clients and doing what I had to do. I got myself into tip top shape, so I became a walking advertisement. I transformed my body. I did a competition. I turned pro in a few months. I was one of the first bikini, IFBB bikini pros in the world. So I was lucky in a way, but I also worked very, very hard and with intention. My only intention was to find balance, was to find the happy medium. I needed to make a lot of money, but I also cherished my free time. Now, I use competition as an example for a lot of different things. I don't compete anymore. It's been over three years. But the reason I go back to competition is because competition world is like the absolute craziest extreme of everything. Extreme dieting, extreme training, um, extreme lifestyle. Um, you have to make sacrifices. You don't get to do what you want to do in life. And I went through the cycle of competing and then I'd be done with the show and then feel lost and what do I do and I'd have to do another show. I needed that structure, okay? My balance, my way of staying afloat and staying alive and happy was to keep competing but the reality is when you're doing that it's very hard on your body but the biggest part is you're depriving yourself of all the splendors of life it defeats the purpose of living you get this amazing body you get a trophy but what does that have to do with real life you don't get to live you know you're stressed out and you know you're not happy with your body because you've seen it here now you want it here and nothing's good enough so finding balance was how I pulled myself out of there once I let go of the competition thing and feeling like I needed to be in control 24-7, I started to learn how to live. It was not easy. Um, being able to go to restaurants and order what I actually wanted to eat and not have a sense of guilt was a very hard task. There was a lot of little things that came into play that I had to kind of force myself to do and break out of that those habits. Now Which, lastly, one of the last things that I did um, most recently, I took my life to another level. No, I didn't get married. No, I didn't have kids. No, I didn't run out and find a new man or find a filler or a toy, a new car, a new this, a new that. Forget all that. I wanted to find something that could take me out of my realm and make me feel at peace. And we all need that in our life. For me, it was my home. I needed to be in a place that had nothing to do with work. It wasn't at a gym. It wasn't near a gym. Um, I need to, to get away from all the bullshit, the ex-boyfriends, the ex this, the ex that, all the negative energy that was surrounding my life. I needed to get away. So what I decided to do is completely relocate. Now in Los Angeles, there's tons of places you can live. I chose Malibu. I love the ocean. Something about the beach just took me to my inner peace and my inner place of happiness and tranquility. So I pursued it. Find what truly makes you happy and what touches your heart and learn how to integrate it into your life. Not everything has to be boom, boom, boom and cold turkey and none of this and none of that. It's so structured. You need to learn to live. We all need to learn to live. I remind myself of this on a daily basis. That is where balance comes from. That's how it starts and that's how you start to find true inner peace and happiness.